All right, live from New York here with Mark Mims of Canonical. Mark, how you doing? Good. So, uh, what do you do in your you're for Canonical? You're on the server team. What are you doing here at Hadoop World? What are you What are you trying to get out of it? So, the next versions of Ubuntu Server are going to have sort of deployment tools baked in, and we're here. To, I'm here to to help make that work better with the, for the big data community. And, you know, how can we help? package Hadoop in such a way that it works better with these charms? How can we help deploy Hadoop clusters um, easier, you know? And so when you say charms, what are, what are those? Mm -hmm. So charms are sort of like deployment recipes using these configuration tools. So, the, so this, this tool is about service orchestration. It's called Juju. And there are Juju charms to deploy particular services within your infrastructure. And it's a... It's really a lightweight eventing framework that pretty much stays out of your way, so it can play nicely with other sorts of configuration management tools that you have. Um, the goal is really just to get you know, to make it easy to deploy and relate services throughout the life cycle of your infrastructure. Um, the magic happens actually in the relations. So we've taken when when it comes down to configuring a particular service, there's sort of the installation specific configuration and then the relation specific configuration. And breaking it into those two components allows you to handle things like horizontal scalability a whole lot cleaner than in other other approaches to that that we've tried in the past. Um, so so yeah, it's a beautiful story to take and spin up an entire stack of uh, uh, 20 or 30 Hadoop nodes pretty quickly. Um, it works cloud or in bare metal or, um, or various different solutions for that, including local. <laughs> and so what did uh, Juju began life as something else, right? It did. It used to be called Ensemble. Yep. Um, and the name was changed fairly recently to Juju, Ubuntu Juju. And so, was it because the the product has changed or was there legal reasons on Ensemble um, or? No, I think it's just uh, people like the, the name Juju and uh, honestly I think it was that Charm School works. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so we're trying to get community events where people come out to learn how to write their own charms for things that they've been interested in. We just had one last week where a developer was uh, running his own game servers in EC2 and he'd been deploying this with shell, shell scripts that he wrote, and it was still a fairly manual process. And within a couple of days of uh, working together on it, he's got Juju Charms now to deploy his game servers um, in a really nice way. You know, it's very configurable, very reusable. So. And was there something else? I remember I talked to Dustin, gosh, I forget how long ago, and he talked about Ensemble. And the other thing was, was it Orchestra? Uh, yeah, so Orchestra, so Juju is sort of the service orchestration framework, and Orchestra is the way we connect to the bare metal. Um, so the way, you, you know, you deploy, a, uh, your infrastructure can be deployed in either the cloud using just Juju on either EC2 or OpenStack or something like that. Um, or you can deploy on bare metal itself. In fact, at the OpenStack Developer Summit, we did a, 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 had a rack of servers that were deployed using Juju to talk to Orchestra to do the bare metal deployment to deploy OpenStack. Then we hit it again, Juju to hitting Open, uh, OpenStack to deploy a Hadoop cluster on top of that. So we did the, the, the meta thing. <laughs> cool. And so then just to conclude with, what, what can we expect from Juju in the next six months to a year? What, is, what are some of the big things coming up? You've got a new LTS coming up, right? We do have a new LTS coming up, and we just had an Ubuntu Developer Summit about this. And um, so the biggest things we're working with are just stability and production readiness, high availability, you know, things that, what do, what do we need to get done to make Juju available in, the, in production environment and make Juju really work in a production environment. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Mark Mims. I look forward to, to following Juju.